Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from Salads and Sandwiches of 1917, we're going to be making the oyster sandwich. And uh, yeah, it's not fried oysters. First thing we have to do is chop up some raw oysters. Mm -hmm. Then we season the oysters with a little salt and pepper, a few grains of cayenne pepper. Got to beat some egg yolk into some cream. Anticipation. Now we melt some butter in a saucepan. Now we add our chopped up oysters and cracker crumbs and heat until steaming. Okay, now that it's steaming, we add our egg and cream mixture and cook until thickened. Now we stir in lemon juice and now we let it cool. Okay, now that it's cooled, let's put our ultra appetizing looking oyster spread onto buttered bread. Mmm. And for the record, a cat did not just throw this up. Just want to put that out there. Okay, let's give this oyster sandwich a go. Flavor-wise, it's not horrific. It does taste like oysters. They are cooked. They're fully cooked at this point. It does have a little bit of cayenne, so a little bit of heat, not much. A little tang of lemon juice. Uh, the texture is not my favorite. Uh, <laughs> I think I do want to try and plus this up a bit. I'm going to add some of this furikake. It's a garlic crunch and umami furikake from Daybreak Seaweed Company. It's going to add a little crunch, a little garlic, a little interest, a little sesame seeds. Okay, let's give this oyster sandwich plussed up with everyday seasoning furikake from Daybreak Seaweed Company. Go. And that is better. That's quite a bit better, actually. Now you're getting that taste of garlic, a little bit of crunch, a little bit of sesame seed, a little bit of seaweed, and it's going well with the lemon, it's going well with the oyster. Yeah, this is actually not bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna pretend to understand why the author of Salads and Sandwiches from 1917 uh, thought to put this together. Um, it's not too dissimilar from another oyster sandwich recipe I made out of the up-to-date sandwich book of 1909. I just, I don't understand it. Flavor-wise, not so bad. A little briny, a little lemon, a little seasoning. Um, but texture-wise, it's just, yeah. Um, so yeah, I think the original sandwich, I'm probably gonna give that a three. It's something that uh, I would finish, not plussed up, but I'm not gonna be happy about it. Plussed up with the uh, Daybreak Seaweed Company Everyday Seasoning, that furikake, I think that's actually probably about a five. I am definitely gonna finish this. I will never make this again. <laughs> oh well, what are you gonna do? See you tomorrow. Oh, and uh, you might have been wondering, hey, what's with that some egg yolk? Here's the deal. The full recipe calls for a pint of raw oysters and two eggs, and I scaled it down massively because, as you can imagine, I was cautiously pessimistic. 